Good morning, everyone. It's been a long time since I've posted a video and I'm really excited to share with you our latest project in finishing off the side garden um, over here on the side of the house, back that way. I'll show you in a minute. We cleared it all out and it is almost ready for plants. We need to dig up some more um, of the uh, weeds and things like there's some a lot of roots left from weeds and things like that since it is um, middle of winter so it's we got to pull those up otherwise they will end up coming back um, so we're going to do a little bit of tilling on the surface of the soil to help break those up so it'll be easier to pull up and then we're going to lay down some dirt on top of that and then we will start planting a lot of these things um, so right now I'm working on the side garden which is a shade garden so there's lots of shade plants here then also in the very back which I'll show you in a video a little bit later I'm working on a Japanese garden area and a fairy garden and then kind of like a fern a fern dell in between some trees um, so I've got a lot of ferns as you can see and I've got um, mostly autumn ferns, but there is maiden hair. And this is the type of maiden hair that is safe to plant outside. It's a little bit more sturdy than the maiden hair plants that you tend to see um, for indoor plants. Um, here's some heucheras. Is that right, heucheras? No, these are heucheras, sorry. These are helleborus, got the wrong age. Um, these are really, really pretty, and I can't believe like how long these blooms have lasted. I mean, they've been blooming for over a month. This one is looking awesome. So beautiful. And this one is called Fire and Ice, and this one is called Frost Kiss Anna's Red. So I'm really excited about planting these out. I'm gonna put those, planning to put those on the side garden and then I might put these in the Japanese garden. These I just got yesterday at Grower's Outlet. They are called Lucid Dreams Vivid. And they're gonna stay like that apple green color. Over here, I've got some more. This is Berry Smoothie, which I love the color of this. It's so beautiful. And then I got some Lamium. Um, for ground cover because we're going to need a lot of ground cover for the side garden just to help minimize weeds. Um, and then what else we got? We got Georgia peach, which is perfect because we live in Georgia. So that's appropriate. And then I got three endless summer hydrangeas, which I'm going to have to plant those a little bit later because we're still not quite out of the um, danger zone with frost. So, but you know, like the heat and well, the lamium may need to wait too, um, but the heucheras and the cold tolerant plants like, you know, the helleborus and the, um, the Daphne here can probably stay out, although this is kind of tender new growth, so I'm not sure. I might have to wait on those too. Um, but then we also have some azaleas here. Now these are native azaleas, so the blooms are going to be really showy really big but they don't last very long but I've always wanted to try and grow them so I got a couple of different varieties one is kind of that golden color and then the other one is a sunset pink color this is a camellia Let's see if I can focus there we go this one is really beautiful I saw it at the store and I just couldn't resist it's called Nuccio's Bella Rosa It's been blooming great, even in the pot. I'm pretty amazed. All these little buds here, kind of small. Let's see if I can try and find a bigger one. I don't know, this one is, this is an old one, but you can kind of get an idea of what it looked like. Um, let's see here. Gosh, there's so much stuff. Oh, and by the way, we got two new kitties. We got two brothers. Um, they were stray kittens. Oops, focus. The one you're, you see here is Mario, 
and then the other one is Luigi. So we've got Mario and Luigi. I think Luigi is inside. He's a little bit more laid back. Mario is extremely spunky and curious and energetic, as you can see. So we got them just before Christmas and they have been so much fun. I absolutely love them. They're adorable. Um, here is Silverheart Brennera, which I'm really excited about planting this. It's so beautiful. I got a lot of it. I'm gonna put some in the side guard, shade garden and also I'd like to put some back in the fairy garden and the Japanese garden area. That is Blue Moon Woodland Phlox. I got some pineapple sage, which I'll obviously have to wait to plant that until um, it, the danger of frost has passed. And then we have um, oxalis right here, ornamental onion. I got some strawberries. Here's some cone flower. This is hot cocoa cone flower. Those are some seedlings from Floret that I tried seeding and they most of them did not do very well. There's a few that are hanging on, but they're snapdragons. Um, and then that is right there. That is, um, gosh, I can't think of the name right now. Carnation. That's what it is. So hopefully they'll, they will hang on. Oh, this is, I forgot to tell you all about this plant. This plant is so pretty. Look at this. It reminds me of like, it's like the ultimate fairy garden plant. And I wasn't planning on put it in the, putting it in the fairy garden. I was planning on putting it in the shade garden. Maybe I should reconsider because <laughs> it is so pretty. I love it. It is called Mountain Snow Pieris. And it doesn't get very big, only three to four feet high, two to three feet wide and it needs part shade to shade. I might I might reconsider. I might put this in the fairy garden now that I think of it. Cause gosh, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at those little bells. Oh, so beautiful. Sorry, I'm getting a little sniffly out here cause it is, it's pretty chilly today. And I took my coat off because I was raking. Now I'm cold again. Um, I got a ton of foxgloves. These are all Dalmatian peach, and this is Dalmatian cream. And then I got two berry canaries. And then this is um, forget-me-nots. So this is kind of like the first round. Oh, and then down here, I forgot. I got a bunch of raspberries, which those aren't gonna go out just yet because it's still pretty cold and they need to stay protected just in case it freezes again. Um, but I've just been really wanting some, some raspberries homegrown. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get some. They were only like 10 bucks too. If y'all live in Georgia and you live near the growers outlet, you should go. Cause it's amazing. They have really, really good prices. Um, let's see here. Did I miss anything? Ferns, ferns, more ferns. Oh, I know one thing. I put it already in here because I'm just so excited about it and I want to make sure it stays protected. Let's see if I can get to it. This right here is Solomon's seal. Oops, let's see if I can get it to focus. It's very a very delicate looking flower. Really beautiful. And this is the variegated kind. So it's got a really beautiful look to it. I absolutely adore it. I kind of wish I had gotten more now because it's so, it's so beautiful. I would, I would have put this like all over the place. Maybe I need to go back to Grower's Outlet. <laughs> um, and then this is Campanula. Let's see here. It is called Tycon Blue. I have never grown Campanula. But I thought, you know, it's a really, probably a really good fairy garden type of plant. So I'm going to plan to put it, put it out there and see how it does. But I think this may need to wait until it gets a little bit uh, warmer. 
I don't know if this will do well in 32 or 28 degree weather. So, oh, and here I've got some little artichoke seedlings that I started, which are doing doing pretty well. And there, where did he go? That crazy cat. He gets all spastic sometimes. I love him. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot of artichoke seedlings in here too, which I have no idea where I'm going to put. Story of my life. Um, I'll, I'll find a way. Oh, I forgot about these right here. This is Penstemon. What variety? It's called Rock Candy Blue. And then this is Maynite Salvia. I needed, to get it, I needed to get a few things for my sun garden up front um, because my beautiful, beautiful roses got eaten up by voles. The, um, the pink ones in the front. Why can't I think of the name right now? It's the one next to Munstead Wood in the corner over there. They were all eaten up by... Um, Voles, so I had to pull them out and um, I'm gonna have to plant some other things in its place instead. So I decided to put a butterfly bush there and then I'm probably gonna put some salvia in front of it maybe. I don't know, that's kind of a lot of blue. Maybe some daylilies, I don't know. We'll see, but yeah, they're all gone. I can't remember the name, goodness gracious. Oh, well, if you've followed my videos before, you know what I'm talking about. They were incredibly beautiful, and I'm just, you know, the name will come to me later. Um, but here is the area that we've cleared out so far. Right back in here. I'm still going to take out those azaleas because they're just not in a good place. And then we're going to edge and then put a pathway of gravel. And then I'm gonna start, you know, we're gonna put down some dirt and try and get the rest of these weeds up in here. And then we're just gonna plant it out. And then I'm also in this spot right here, gonna put a Japanese maple that I have in a larger pot next to the pool. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. And I can't wait to get, uh, show you guys the process of it all. It's very exciting and um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to load up my cart with foxgloves because those are pretty cold hardy. They can stand the cooler temperatures. So I'm going to go ahead and plant those out by the um, fairy garden area. And then when I get back there, I'll show you guys that area.